Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Jamie Toast, 97. Thanks for the suggestion, Jamie. You asked, what is cyanide? At first glance, that sounds like the kind of question that ends with you being investigated by the FBI. But don't worry, we're here for the science, not for any suspicious purchases. Cyanide has this dark, almost cartoonishly evil reputation, like it's the official poison of every mystery novel. But what actually is it? And why is it so dangerous? Let's break it all down safely, right here on Explaining Everything. Let's start with the basics. Cyanide isn't just one thing. It's a group of chemical compounds that all share the same core troublemaker, the cyanide ion, made of one carbon atom triple bonded to one nitrogen atom. Sounds harmless, right? It's just two little atoms hanging out. But when they get together, it's like Batman and Robin. Except if Batman and Robin's superpower was ruining your entire body in seconds. Cyanide can show up in a few forms. There's hydrogen cyanide, a gas that sounds like something you'd use to fumigate cockroaches from space. There are cyanide salts, like sodium cyanide and potassium cyanide, which look like regular white powders, but are anything but regular. And then there's cyanide in nature. It pops up in tiny amounts in things like apple seeds, almonds, and even cassava. Don't panic, though. You'd need to eat like a bucket of apple seeds for it to matter. So unless your new diet plan is called Apple Seed Smoothie Cleanse, you're fine. Here's the scary part. Cyanide works by attacking your body's energy production system. Normally, your cells make energy using oxygen, which they grab like a kid grabbing the last cookie at a party. But when cyanide shows up, it basically shoves oxygen out of the way and says, Nope, you're done here. More specifically, cyanide binds to a key enzyme in your mitochondria, the tiny little power plants inside your cells. And when mitochondria can't do their job, your cells can't make energy. No energy means no function. No function means, well, you get the idea. What's wild is how fast it works. This isn't the kind of poison where you sit around wondering if it's kicking in. Cyanide is basically the instant Wi-Fi of toxins. No buffering, no delays, straight to the point. That's why it's been infamous in history, because villains and desperate spies alike loved its, uh, efficiency. But here's an important note. Cyanide poisoning is super rare for regular people. It's not like arsenic in old wallpaper or lead in old paint. Unless you're working in certain industries or living out your 1800s murder mystery role play a little too hard, cyanide isn't something you'll ever bump into in daily life. Cyanide didn't earn its fame from the lab bench. It earned it on the big stage of history and pop culture. For decades, it's been the go-to instant death button in spy novels, crime dramas, and even cartoons. Secret agents supposedly carried cyanide pills to avoid capture, because apparently nothing says professional like carrying your own self-destruct button. Meanwhile, in classic mystery novels, cyanide was the ultimate plot twist ingredient. Someone always mysteriously keels over at dinner, and the detective dramatically announces, Ah yes, it was cyanide. Cue the shocked gasps. Even the smell has a spooky legend. People say cyanide smells like bitter almonds. That's technically true, 
but only for some people. Thanks to genetics, not everyone can smell it. So imagine being in a murder mystery, everyone else sniffing the air going, Oh no, cyanide! While you're just sitting there like, Smells fine to me. That's not ignorance. That's bad luck coded into your DNA. Here's the twist. Cyanide isn't just something humans cooked up in labs or crime novels. It actually shows up in the natural world all the time. Plants like cassava and certain types of beans have cyanogenic compounds, meaning under the right conditions, they can release cyanide. But before you start eyeing your salad suspiciously, remember, cooking and proper preparation get rid of those toxins. Humans figured this out ages ago. Cassava, for example, is a staple food for millions of people. They just know to peel, soak, and cook it first. So why do plants even bother making cyanide? Defense. It's their way of saying, hey animals, eat me and you'll regret it. Basically, it's pepper spray, but for plants. And it works, at least until humans came along with frying pans and recipes. At its core, it's a simple chemical compound with a carbon-nitrogen duo that packs way more punch than its tiny size suggests. It's deadly because it hijacks your body's oxygen system. It's legendary thanks to mystery novels and spy lore. And it's sneaky because it even shows up in nature. But here's the thing. Cyanide might be famous as the instant villain poison, but in reality, it's not lurking in your everyday life waiting to strike. Unless you're working in a lab, a gold mine, or starring in a 1930s detective novel, you're probably safe. Cyanide is like that one person at parties who everyone knows, everyone talks about, and everyone's a little scared of. But thankfully, you'll probably never have to deal with them in real life. If you enjoyed this dive into the world of deadly chemistry, maybe leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.